Hey everyone, this is Brian. <laughs> Quick video about how to add a printer that you can access at school through the network. Uh, right now this is, I think, important to remind ourselves because you can print to the media center, to the copy machine there, and you can print to the copy machine that's in the guidance office behind Ms. Spadowski or you can print directly to the copy machines in the copy room in the office. Uh, all you have to do is add that printer, uh, and to do that, you just need to go to District Shortcuts. So find a folder on your desktop, which will be much less cluttered than mine, I'm sure. Click on District Shortcuts, and then on District Printers, District Printers. This will bring up a list of all of the printers in the district, and they have funky names. The way to navigate this is to look at the first four letters. So this is BR Brookside. This is BR Central Office, BRCO. We're looking for printers that are BRHS. If you hover over that name, it will give you a detailed name. So here you can see this one. <coughs> Excuse me. This one is uh, the Workroom Copy Center 570. Here is the new copier in the copy, copy room. Uh, and I'm going to just scroll down here and I'm going to look for BRHS Guidance, guidance Office. This is the printer that's on the desk behind Ms. Spadowski. If you want the printer that's in the room behind her that has the color capability, this is the one. If you want to add one of these printers, all you do is click on it. I'm going to do that again here with another one that I don't currently have. If you click on it, double click on it, it will run something that looks like this. When it is done, you're ready to go. Now all you have to do to print something is to open a document, file, print, and now you can choose from amongst all these printers. Once you choose it, then you can modify it and send it on its way. So if I wanted, for example, to do a private print job to the printer in the office, I double click on it. I didn't then click printer properties and I can change the type from a normal print to a secure print, create a five digit code, four digit code, click OK. I can change it from one sided to two sided. I can add staples and hole punching. Once you have it set up, you click OK. I can change the number of copies to whatever I want and I can send it on the way and it's there uh, to be released in secure jobs when you want to do that. So you can choose the printers once you've added them. If I wanted to um, print to the um, color printer, here it is. I'm ready to go. Hope that's helpful. All you need to know. If you need anything else, give me a call.